Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Welcome again to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share this video if you enjoy. It might help someone else. I apologize for the background noise. That's my cousin. He's too excited. This is after he cried for about an hour. Like, cried. We couldn't stop him. We couldn't soothe him. Nothing was working. Computer, phone, nothing. He didn't want any of that. And now, he's just completely changed and he's super excited. Don't mind that. Someone somewhere is happy. In the last video, I talked about the living situation and today I'm going to add on to that. When you're looking for a house, please, this is like my advice, avoid neighborhoods that are near an army barracks because um, I don't know if any of you saw in the news, but um, 2016 and I think, was it early 2017, somewhere there, the army, they had this mutiny thing. So it's kind of like they went on strike and it was chaos. Roads were blocked. They were firing in the air. So it was a bit of a scary situation. And yeah, I wouldn't want anyone. I myself wouldn't want to be caught in such a situation where I can't get back home because of this. It's supposed to be safe, but to me, I don't feel safe if I have to live there. Second thing about housing situation, usually we have like the rainy season, the heaviest I think was about in July. When you're looking for a house, try to make sure that it's not situated in like a valley. It's better if you're on the higher ground than on the lower ground because there are certain neighborhoods here that are notorious for flooding. The popular one is Palmere, I know most people live there. The areas of Bonome, um, some areas in Kumasi. Also just in general, try to avoid living on the ground floor. It's better if you start living like on the first floor the type of food you can try the moment you land here if you don't know anything about the local food number one on the list very popular everywhere is acheke we usually have like on the menu acheke poisson acheke pule putu it goes um sosa rashid another popular food which is loved by everyone even the kids is a local which is basically fried plantains you can even make it yourself in the house really popular with also chicken and fish the thing um which i'm sure not many expatriates get to try even though it's out there and it's also very popular is gaba it's not that different from a cheke so there's like really a whole concept behind it um, some of the drinks you can try number one is bisap it's also the first local ivorian drink that i tried when i got here it's just made from dried hibiscus flour and then it's mixed with fruits like orange pineapple and then with lots and lots of sugar so if you don't take sugar be careful with bisap they're like they put so much sugar in it it's crazy next one is nyamaku and this is a local name but basically it's just ginger juice jus de jam jam I hope I said that correctly. I can't try it. If you can drink ginger juice, then power to you. When it comes to alcohol, <clears throat> the local alcoholic drinks, the first one is kutuku. I tried it like it was just a sip and it's so bad. I felt it burn my throat. I thought it was going to burn like my intestines and everything. I think I've seen it being sold at the supermarket. Another one is banji. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. This comes from the... How do you call it? The palm, is it the coconut um, water. It's a bit bearable compared to kutu. For people who feel adventurous when it comes to trying out um, exotic cuisines, they have some of that here. There are some people who eat cats, what? some people eat dogs, snakes. Ugh, I don't know. Then there's pangola, which to me reminds me of Kalisi's dragon eggs the other thing is escargot which are just snails and then we have aguti personally i call it a big forest rat if you come here with your cat or your dog if it gets lost it might just be in somebody's kitchen at the end of the month the electricity bill is usually high so many people complain about this i think it's because you have to use like the ac like constantly it is ninety-one thousand damn degrees I am sitting right next to my air conditioner because this place is so hot you can imagine if you have a three-bedroom 
house you have the AC in all three bedrooms and then you have an AC in the sitting room when you go to sleep all three bedrooms have the AC on it takes up a little bit of electricity you haven't factored in other electrical appliances and then here people still use water heaters heat water for showering so that also I think takes up a lot of electricity your bill ends up being like so much so i came to abidjan i used to think that bad customer service only existed in government offices but in abidjan it's everywhere it is so bad that these days sometimes people here do things and i just laugh because initially i think the first two years i used to get pissed people here don't really like making an effort i feel like your business can just go down because people here don't care about attending to customers needs it just doesn't exist in their work ethics also think that people generally don't know how to multitask like when attending to customers so things can be very very slow like i'm just comparing it to how people do work in nairobi i'm just trying to get so many things done at the same time so that if it's a queue it can keep moving so that's in case from this video i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you want to ask me any questions air out your views you can do that in the comment section below but please be nice so until my next video